All right, my beautiful friends. It is Wednesday, March 27th, 2019. Sometimes I get a little confused. All right, look, uh, this is what's going on. Uh, stocks have been trading for about an hour. Very volatile day, in and out of positive territory. Market has no idea what it wants to do. Uh, but what we do understand is enormous effort is going to be put in to prop this market up by any and all means necessary. If they have to drop bombs, if they have to start refinery fires, whatever it is. Um, if they have to create distractions, you know, don't look here, look here. That's that's what they're going to do. Uh, it's the military industrial complex. There's no doubt about it. Uh, playing right into what they always do. Um, and this is no secret. This has been going on since uh, time immemorial is what it seems like to me, seriously. Um, let's talk about the bond market a little bit. It's a, it's a freak show of epic proportions. You know that. They're still trying to downplay it on the mainstream uh, financial channels. Same story uh, as the last time this occurred. Ignore the yield curve. Keep buying stocks. Everything is fine. This is the narrative. It must be maintained. And they, and they catch most people off guard, just like they did last time, and the time before that, and the time before that. There is no difference. Well, the only difference is this time it's much worse. Much worse. By, by orders of magnitude, um, it's just beyond belief, it's the truth. So let, let's watch this. Let's see how it plays out today, what they're going to do, how they're going to prop up the markets, how they're going to spin this yield curve issue. Uh, this is what we can expect. Uh, volatility, more of it. Just like I explained to you on Saturday, this is the name of the game for this week. Uh, wild swings in the market. Um, it's going to take a lot, in my opinion, for them to continue to try at least to prop up this market. Um, markets don't always just go in one direction. We know what they did back in December, an incredible thing. You want to talk about a direct collusion between the military industrial complex and Wall Street? Well, there it was. You know, President Trump sends his guy out to uh, six of the world's biggest banks that run the Fed and every other world central bank. <laughs> And they managed to to prop up this market 5,000 points almost. It's a pretty a pretty amazing thing. After falling 5,000 points, so you can see the direct collusion here between the military industrial complex uh, and Wall Street, and that's exactly what we see repeated over and over and over again. It's a game, and that's it. And uh, there's going to be winners. Uh, and a whole, whole lot of losers in the end here. It's very sad. But that's the way it is uh, in this world that is controlled and run and ruled by world central banks, the military industrial complex. You all know that. All right, with that said, I'll see you later.